Hi everybody. The purpose of this screencast is to show you how to check out a private repository from Bitbucket into Android Studio and make a modification and push that modification back to the Bitbucket repository. And the prerequisites are, in addition to the previous ones, that you have set up SSH to work correctly with your Bitbucket account. So this would require you to go in great detail through the steps outlined in this document. The next step is before you actually go into Android Studio to make sure that this works and the way you can do that is by saying SSH-T uppercase T for test hg at bitbucket.org and it should give you this prompt where you need to confirm that you're accepting this host into your list of known hosts. If you don't do this step you will have trouble actually verifying the connection in the uh, Android Studio checkout dialog. So here we'll say yes We'll now run this again, and it should just go through. There we go. Okay. Now we're good to go to the Bitbucket repository page, where we will copy the SSH-based URL, repository URL that we got when we imported the public repository into our own private one. We're going to work on our own private one. So now we'll switch to Android Studio and we'll check out this private repository from version control using Mercurial <clears throat> and we'll paste this URL and now the test repository step should succeed. If this fails then you need to go back to the document where it tells you the exact steps to get SSH to work with Mercurial and Bitbucket for your platform. Okay, so we're good to go. We'll choose a parent directory, same as before. And we'll clone this private repository, and this means we'll now have read-write access. All the other steps are the same. Use auto-import, bundled Gradle distribution as before. command 1 to open the project, double check the make settings as before using external build, the exact same steps as before. Sometimes these don't stick even per project and you might have to redo them. And this one should stick once we set it, so remember we need to switch from Android to a regular Java SDK because this is a console application and not an Android application yet. Okay, now we should be able to do the same as before, which is run the tests. As expected, they fail. We'll fix them. Actually, we'll fix the subject under test. We'll go in here, fix, rerun the test. And now the next step very importantly is to commit our changes to our mercurial repository and then push those changes meaning upload the changes to the hosted repository on bitbucket.org so one thing we're missing and we need to enable this is the version control buttons here so the way to do this is to go into the VCS menu and enable version control integration. So we'll do that here and just select the system here. So we'll se select Mercurial and say OK and you see how now these buttons pop up. And now here the up arrow 
that is the one we want. So commit the changes and then it'll actually allow us to push them as well. And it's good practice to enter a commit comment um, and then here fixed get year method return value and now we have a choice between just commit that is just a local commit remember that but we want the commit to show up on the hosted remote repository so we usually want commit and push and we'll choose that and here it verifies the remote URL and that is the SSH URL of our private Bitbucket repository and normally this would say tip which is the most recent commit and we can say push and this succeeded and now we can double check on the website for the repository through the web interface by browsing the source here that it actually made this change to 2009 and that is actually the case and you can also see here under overview that there is this commit from 27 seconds ago that we just did through Android Studio. Alright this is it for now talk to you soon.